Hey, what's up everyone? And welcome back to my channel. I'm Jimbo. Today we're doing a comparison video, more ceramic liquid waxes. So as you saw in the first look we did with the ethos, this is the pro ceramic wax that has ceramic resins in it. And we're pairing it up against the Adams ceramic liquid wax. Now the Adams ceramic liquid wax, is a 12 ounce bottle and it's gonna set you back about $16, at least at the time of this recording. And the Ethos Pro Ceramic Wax is 16 ounce and is gonna set you back about 39 bucks for this bottle. Both boast that they have incredible hydrophobic properties. Um, they both boast that they'll last a long time, incredible shine and depth. So what we're gonna do is walk you through the application method, see if there's any differences there. And then of course, we're gonna take it through the torture test and see if the cheaper one is gonna be a better bang for your buck or if the more expensive one is gonna be a better buy. So all that coming up in this video. All right, so we're gonna do the ethos on the right and we're gonna do a little bit of movie magic here because we actually already did the torture test. So for those of you that say like, oh, but you're wearing the same clothes and do you guys not shower? And was it really a 24 hour cure? <laughs> it's just, we're doing it backwards because I, applied it when I was solo, then we filmed the torture and now I'm kind of working backwards. So the application, few, uh, few dots, couldn't think of my words. I was so worried about trying to cover my, my butt. All right, few squirts goes on, fairly smooth, um, kind of hazes up. No real time frame as far as when to wipe it off. According to the back of the bottle, it just says to add a direct sunlight on a cool panel, avoid plastic trim, uh, full cures 24 hours. But it says apply to a clean and decontaminated paint surface, spread a thin even layer of the ceramic wax pro onto the surface with an applicator or polisher, let dry completely. So uh, what is dry completely? I don't really know. All right, onto the Adam side, I'm gonna use just the back side of the saver applicator, which is great because as we know on these saver applicators, there's a uh, barrier in between, on the back side of the microfiber, there's a barrier. And I prefer microfiber to foam for applicators. I just feel like they're softer on the paint and more gentle. So I'm gonna let the ethos kind of set up and quote unquote dry. The Adam smells a little better, but they essentially applied exactly the same. So on that standpoint, pretty much identical. I'm gonna give it a couple minutes to kind of set up and cure or dry or whatever, and then we'll buff it off. All right, so I guess I'm gonna take this as drying as when it's kind of hazed up. Uh, unlike the Meguiar's where it goes away and you really can't even see where you applied it, you can definitely still see where you applied this one and the wipe off is incredibly easy. No issues at all. It would be interesting to see. I wish there was a time frame on it because I would kind of like to know, you know, is it two minutes? Like the Chemical Guys one we saw, it says I don't know, three to five minutes or something, but really should be two minutes or else it becomes incredibly difficult to remove. Not so much with the Ethos or the Meguiar's. Let's go over to the Adams. Again, kind of sets up like a traditional wax and just as easy to remove. So from the application standpoint, from the removal standpoint, so far these products are virtually identical. And it'll be interesting to see in the torture test if they're identical with their chemical resistance and water beating and all that. So there we go. There's the application. Let's get into the torture test right now. All right. So uh, on the right side, we have ethos. On the left, we have atoms actually have cured uh, going on three days. So take that for what it is. Control section, nothing uh, in the middle there. All right, and they both, I think, doing extremely well on the, the water bead. Let's see, I, I even ran the blower before too, and it still did it. 
Not as bad though. So let's get the water off here. Now based on the uh, first look video of the Ethos, there was a bad batch apparently of the product. And uh, so Tim reached out and, and said that uh, I shouldn't have the bad batch, but we'll see. So uh, Eagle One, triple cleaning foam. And I, you know, bad batches do happen. I guess it's how, uh, how the batch is corrected or how that mistake is corrected, right? Even, even with the detailing and stuff, it's like, it's gonna make mistakes. I remember one of my first mistakes, I was working on a Mercedes S550 AMG, kind of my first high-end car, and I went to go put dressing on the, I was doing a favor for the guy and putting the dressing on that dash. And if you know that dash, it's like leather and not, well, what I was using did not take well to the, to the dash. And I had a slight panic attack seeing like a blotchy dashboard. What the heck, really? Adam just totally took a dump right there or what? Look at that. I guess lost all hydrophobic properties. Let me get the wet towel. Maybe it's maybe it's blocking it, but the atoms took a huge dump on the hydrophobic property side of things at least. Ethos is still doing really good. Did I get a bad batch of atoms? <laughs> uh. All right, so the Adams is really flat, which is interesting, and the Ethos is not, which again, it's just gotten to more water sheeting. Yeah, the water's sticking to the panel. Wow, that's, that's a big letdown on that. Adams is pretty dead. Ethos is still doing good. Unaffected by that. I'm so tempted to do the. Let's do Adam's wheel cleaner. So, Adam's wheel cleaner. This is their kind of iron remover. Let's see if we could use Adam's to kill Adam's. Adams to kill ethos. What will it be? Adams probably has the best smelling iron remover out on the market. I would say. And effective. Works really well too. Doesn't quite had that pungent smell on the nose like a lot of them do. Good little wet towel action. Ethos still holding strong. The Adams is definitely sheeting water. Actually, it seems like it may have came back a little bit, but it's not beating the water like the Ethos is. I think from here we'll start attacking it with some real chemicals. Ethos did take a little bit of hit on that one. Not bad, but definitely took a little bit of a hit. Definitely still there. So let's Hit it with something. Hit it with something else. Let's go with the bleach white. How are you? And 
and that's the landlord. Oh, not an ideal time to be doing a video. Good thing she likes me. All you gotta do, pay your rent on time. <laughs> Early, actually. And then when you're, whatever. I'm not gonna incriminate myself. Hey, how are you? Happy New Year. Got a busy day going on today, huh? Oof. All right, well that just about killed the whole panel, which is good because it may save my booty from having to do any more tests. <laughs> people rolling up. What's going on today? All right, and that bleach bright pretty much pretty much took care of that. So the ethos kind of seems like it's sheeting water. It's very, very slow though. So I think that that bleach bright kind of took care of both those chemicals and I'm not going to go any further. I don't want any more of a mess considering the circumstance I'm in right now. Maybe sheeting a little bit faster than the atoms, but definitely took a big, big hit. Let's hit it with the blower real quick and see. Yeah, it's sticking on the panel pretty good. So I'd say that bleach bright took care of it. Took care of the whole panel for me. Definitely, look at that Adams, man, just stuck on the panel. So I guess in that sense, the ethos is doing better. It's not as sticky as over here. So there might be a little remnant hanging back because it is different. Definitely different than the Adam side, definitely. But not by much, that's, that's for sure. So we're gonna uh, end the torture test. Right there. All right, so what did you think about that video? Obviously the Ethos is much more expensive, though you do get about four ounces more. It's a little more than double the price. Uh, the Adams really didn't do all that great. And, and I'll be honest with you, I'm still on the fence with these liquid waxes. I just don't, they don't even, uh, I, I hate to say they don't really perform as well, but to be honest, they really don't perform as well, at least in a chemical resistance test where I think they do offer some differences in the glow and the depth and the paint uh, that you can sometimes only get from that liquid wax. However, when you're talking about shine, it's such a subjective kind of uh, section or a subjective kind of attribute to talk about because everyone sees shine differently, lighting's differently, and that's kind of why I do the chemical resistance uh, because that is not subjective. And so anyway, kind of a little rant towards the end there. But what did you guys think about this test? Did you think Ethos was the clear winner? Do you still use a liquid wax? Do you just like that therapy of it? Love to hear all your thoughts, feelings, and emotions down in the comments below. And on your way down there, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button. Look forward to having you guys subscribe. And let me know what you think. Catch you on the next one. See ya.